Hello everyone. It is story time again. And I hope that today you will listen and learn a few new things. So my story and acts of kindness tells us how we can be a wonderful person in this world. Being kind or compassionate is living and seeing with your heart. Everyone is naturally kind. So let us remind each other how to do these acts of kindness. When we are at home, we can start our day by saying a warm good morning to all whom we live with, a hug, a wave, or even a smile can do this and make somebody else's day. If you have younger brothers or sisters, you can help by getting them ready for school so that mom and dad doesn't have to rush so much in the morning. And you can help them to comb their hair and put on their clothing so that everyone is ready on time. You could also ask that you help making the lunches for those who need lunch to go to school or to work. You can often ask to help to set the table for dinner and to help clear up after dinner as well. Sometimes your parents have such a long, hard day at work. So in the evenings, when you've had dinner and everyone is ready to go to bed, some days you can say to mom, I know how to read, so I will read for, your, for my brothers and sisters tonight. So and I'll give you and dad a time off. So read a story to your siblings. When you are at school, if someone has no lunch, we could share it with them. You could sit with somebody who is lonely or befriend a new child that has just started at your school. They would be so happy if you did that. At playtime, if somebody gets hurt on the playground, you can run and ask a teacher to come and help and see what's going on. That would be a wonderfully kind thing to do. What about writing your teacher a little letter at the end of the year or end of the term to say, I really loved your teaching this term. I learned so much from you. So have a happy and wonderful holiday. Wouldn't that be lovely? How about when you're at the supermarket? If there is an elderly couple in the queue behind you, you can say to your parents, why don't we just let them go ahead of us? We can stand longer than they can. So let's do that as well. I think that frail people or people on wheelchairs can be helped more and more by just us showing a little more kindness to them. Your grandparents would love to hear from you. A little WhatsApp, which is free, can send a hug, a love, a care, a message of thanks and gratitude, or you can take a recent picture of you and your siblings and your parents and send it to your grandparents and say, look, this is what we look like at the moment. That will thrill them to bits and make their hearts extremely happy. The next time you go to your doctor, why don't you take all those old magazines that you have at your home and instead of throwing them in the bin, take them to the doctor's rooms and so that others can enjoy them and read them, even though they are dated and a little older, 
I'm sure the doctor and nurses will love that. Being thoughtful and polite is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It takes us into places of new freedoms, new friends, and a wonderful way to live. So look for ways that you can be polite and well-mannered. Everybody loves a well-mannered child and a responsible child. So when we are at the park, let's use the equipment there, the slides, the swings, by sharing, using them responsibly. When we're done, we must clean up our little spot where we were so that when the others come in after us, they can have a clean spot. So that just like we love cleanliness, so do other people. So let's be a little kinder. How wonderful it is for each of us to practice these things. They are, there are so many people that are sad. They are hurting. They are lonely. Or they just live in poverty in this world. We see them all the time. We watch them on television all the time. And our hearts get so sad for them. Is it not an awesome feeling to bring a smile and some joy into other people's lives. These are all easy, everyday things that will make other people happy. And your heart will be beating with gratitude as you do them. Boom, boody, boom, boody, boom. These things remain with you and you get better and better at doing them as you practice them every day. Hope these are already a part of your lives. And I know they are, but I just needed to remind myself and you to be better and more willing and more kind and more helpful each day. It does not cost one cent to be kind and good. So until next time, I hope that you enjoy all these and practice them daily. Bye for now.